My dear sisters and brothers, it is good to be with you through this medium of communication. I pray that your, you and your families are doing well in the midst of this unfortunate pandemic. Let us pray for all of our sisters and brothers who are affected by this unfortunate disease, all of those who have it, and especially all of those in the medical field who are working so hard to help keep us safe and to help those who are sickened by this disease. I can't remember a time in my life when such extreme measures had to be implemented. Not only have we come to the point of having to publicly suspend the celebration of the Eucharist, but many places of business are also being forced to close in order to help the decrease of the spread of this disease. All of us, I'm sure, are now beginning to feel the financial stress caused by this unprecedented event. And unfortunately, our parish is no exception. In order to meet our financial obligations, our only source of income is your sacrificial giving. In our weekly bulletin, we report to you the amount we have collected compared to the amount needed each week to meet our financial obligations based upon our annual budget. Based on our operating budget, we need to collect weekly roughly $37,000. On the weekend of March 8th, just prior to when all of the changes took effect, our collection was over $42,000, which resulted in an overage of offertory income of over $4,700. At that same time, our year-to-date amount was over on our offertory by over $91,000. This is a testament to all of you who so graciously give to our good parish to help meet our, meet our operating expenses. On the following weekend of March 15th, when the obligation to attend Mass was lifted, our total collection dropped to $20,000 and change, which was a drop of over $17,000 from what we needed for the weekend. As a result, our year-to-date reserve dropped to $73,000 and change. Before long, we will have to dip into our reserves to meet our operating expenses. Unfortunately, the utility companies and other agencies to whom we have obligations to pay are not cutting us any breaks. We have 29 buildings to maintain and if you have been following my bulletin column over the last couple of months, you would have seen I have been trying to keep you updated on the expenses related to these buildings. As I noted earlier, all of us are now beginning to feel the financial strain caused by this pandemic. I know in my own family it has already hit home as my wife was furloughed from her job. Over this past week, I did receive a number of calls from parishioners asking how they can still support the parish financially since we obviously do not have mass and are not taking up collections. There are actually several ways you can still support your parish. One would be to mail in your weekly contribution to the parish office. We would ask that you mail that to the address of 910 South Mercer Street, Newcastle, Pennsylvania, 16101. Another option would be using electronic funds transfer. Many people have what is called online banking, where they have the means to pay their financial responsibilities automatically through their checking or savings account. This would be an option that you may wish to choose in order to continue to support the parish at this time. And then there is our own online giving option, 
which is at our website of www.hsplc.org. On the right hand, upper right hand corner of the web page is the icon for online giving. Simply click there and you will be directed to our on online giving program and the instructions are very easy to follow. It is important to know that we are currently looking at where we can save expenses. We are al already looking at lowering the thermostats in our buildings since they are not being used. We are looking at outside contracted services to see where we can save additional monies there. We are also looking to cut corners wherever we can during this time. We always strive to be the best stewards of the funding entrusted to us, the funding that you give so uh, freely and weekly in the offertory collection. But it is now that we must also strive to be even more fiscally responsible. Our reserves will eventually run out and we will have difficulty in replacing them. So please know we take this matter very seriously and we are looking to do all we can in cutting costs. You will notice in front of me this carving and it depicts Jesus reaching his hand out to Peter. This is taken from the gospel account where the apostles are on the seas and they are rough. There is a storm and Jesus walks on the water and appears to them. First, they think he's a ghost. But Peter said to him, Lord, if it is truly you, call for me to come to you. And Jesus did. And Peter miraculously walked on the water. But notice he didn't do so for long because he was aware of the elements around him and he took his eyes off of Jesus. My dear sisters and brothers, we are in a storm and it is now more than ever that we need to turn to Jesus and reach out for his hand to help us in our journey through this pandemic. May our faith in Christ grow even stronger in this last half of Lent. And as we journey together spiritually, may all of us grow closer to Jesus and know that his hand is always upon us, leading us and guide us, guiding us. We look forward to the day when we will once again be able to celebrate the Eucharist publicly, to come together as a faith community and to share in the body and blood of Christ. Please know of my prayers for you and your families and know that we are all continuing to pray the rosary daily as a parish staff for the end of this pandemic. May God continue to bless you and keep you in his care. Thank you.